DM Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all! Wow your friend! Hey friends and fellow crafters, welcome to a new edition of Tilescapes. Today we're going to veer off the beaten path of the fantasy that we normally do and we're going to do a zombie themed tile. Okay, cool. A lot of people have asked me about this. Uh, this it's going to show that you can take tilescapes into any genre, but I did do a little something a little bit different with the tile. I used a different material uh, because with a medieval type tile, I like I really like the texture of the cork, but for a more modern tile, I want to use a smoother texture. So let's hit the table and I'll show you what that material is I'm going to use. Here's our mystery material. It's this craft foam. And what I got was I got the five millimeter thick because this perfectly matches our tilescape tiles, right? And uh, this is great size. It's 12 by 18. So I can get uh, six uh, full size tiles out of this. I'll remove the sticker there so I can work with it. Now, I couldn't find these at the store. I actually had to buy these online, but they were fairly cheap. Now, I measured out my tiles on here, my 6x6, six six, and I can just easily cut these out with scissors, right? So, just perfectly easy. Uh, no muss, no fuss. And uh, once I cut these out, they'll be ready for the stamping method like we do with our other tilescapes. So for this modern tilescapes, I was going with kind of a cement floor, and I measured out three by three stamp, uh, and the blocks are an inch and a half wide. So uh, that'll be a perfect stamp. And if you haven't seen me use these before, make sure you check out my other tilescape videos. Hey guys, here we have our stamp. I'm going to liberally put some gray on here, right? This will be our cement patches, and then I'm going to stamp some very light tan on it. Okay, and. That'll give an, I think that gives a really nice kind of cement look as opposed to the lighter gray. So let's keep doing that and fill up the, uh, the tile. It takes paint really well. And it tends not to absorb the paint like the cork does. So there we go. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to kind of fill in the, the uh, cracks in the uh, cement pieces here with some black, just some watered down black. So I'll just use a thin brush and fill those in. Then since this is going to be kind of a zombie apocalypse thing, I want to put some, uh, make some uh, like damage, like some cracks and that kind of thing too on there. So very cool. Nice. So now we let it dry and uh, the black lines are a bit too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover them with a watered down gray. And that'll give a nice kind of shadow uh, on the tile as far as like the shallow cement lines. So here we go. We're all dried up. I think those are really nice. They're really nice and sturdy. They got the five millimeter width. And uh, with the smoothness, it's great for the more modern tiles. I think that really gives like a nice cement look there. So there we go. There's the tiles. So let's go to the table and look at the tiles and play how I might have a setup for our tilescapes game. So hey crafters, the ruined shelving units are basically just a piece of cardboard uh, with stir sticks attached uh, glued to it. So there you go, you can see the kind of side view there. And for the glass panels in the front of the store, I just used a thick uh, CD a flexible case, uh, glued it with some goop to some uh, sticks, and painted all, uh, all the trim up silver. Uh, so that it would look like it was a front panel window. And there you can see the kind of the side view there. I just glued it to a cardstock base. So there we go. Now the doors are just a very similar thing. I just used the same uh, kind of CD uh, flexible case. But then I scored it with an X-Acto knife. You can see how I got the edging of the doors. I just scored it with an X-Acto knife, 
then used, I uh, did the, the damage on it with the X-Acto knife too, and then I just painted it silver, and it gave a really nice kind of sliding door effect. So there we go, cool. And you can see kind of the damage there, really nice. And the side view shows how I just glued it on and then put the extra strips for support there. And I used goop to glue this onto the base. So now I have a uh, back door here, and this is just a piece of cardboard with a piece of cardstock around it, painted kind of gray, and then I used a small bead for the handle of the door. So easy enough, just paint a little bit of uh, the lapidation on the door with the black uh, wash and that kind of thing. And there you can see the side is similar to what I did with the sliding door. I just had a cardstock base and supported it with a couple other pieces of cardstock. Then for the front counter, I just used some wooden blocks and uh, glued them together in an L shape and then used some um, wooden pieces, uh, wooden shapes that I got out from the craft store and glued those on top and it gave a nice kind of um, front counter look. So there we go. There's some really easy pieces to add to your modern or zombie apocalypse games. Go forth and craft. Like, share, subscribe.